morning, fans, Brev Deer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday before the Friday of non farm payrolls. Today we have a few more jobless uh, employment indicators for Thursday. If I'm not mistaken, we should have uh, yeah unemployment claims. People will watch that a little closer than they would have. We also have challenger job cuts. Because uh, Powell was so strongly on the data dependent side of this, um, people are going to be watching these numbers. Tell you what, we're poised. Um, we are fucking poised. Look at the D, DXY, DYX, whatever the fuck it is. D, DXY, dollar index. Um, perfect doji um, after a big up day a lot of people would argue that up day was based on a misinterpretation of a human being um, but you know above above these highs 10588 um, gets quite interesting and below these uh, below these lows um, what is that low? 105.36. Damn, tight range. Uh, 88 or 36, we're smack dab in the middle. Uh, and I feel like it's going to be important. Are we going to get this today or are we going to have to wait till tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yields are back a little bit higher. You saw yesterday they went down to 390. People kind of ignore it. It feels like people are watching the, the short end yields more than the 10 year right now, but <clears throat> we're going to stick with the 10 year because it's more forward looking. Um, and we know that markets trade uh, not on what's happening tomorrow. A lot of what's happening tomorrow has been priced in. It's about what's happening um, six months down the line or even one year down the line. Uh, so. We're going to keep watching the tens. What else is there? Aussie, <coughs> you're going to see a lot of these daily pars, right? So almost a doji as well. Um, this one's creeping back up. We've scratched some money back on the short end side of Euro Aussie this week, um, which still hasn't quite paid for the fucking colossal nuclear, you know, blow up in um, Euro Norway but we're edging it back two more trading days this week see what we can do um, Aussie CAD nobody cares Aussie Swiss the only thing we care about Aussie Swiss is you know the stretch uh, I don't think we're gonna see it today but 6161 down near the figure uh, clip that two and a half Sigma um, two days ago but Dollar CAD, also a little bit stretchy here. Um, the thing about Dollar CAD, right, is Bank of Canada is really the first uh, G7 central bank to kind of be like put on the brakes on this whole rate craze. Uh, so they're, I wouldn't say they're dovish, I'd say they're neutral. Uh, so if the U.S. remains really hawkish, this thing could run a bit. So you got to be careful being short Dollar CAD. You want to be nimble if you're going to fade this again we don't we typically don't fade on two and a half sigma on dollar pairs um, but also let's keep in mind dollar cad vol is not uh, is not great these days so um, if you're going to fade wait maybe 138.50 today 138.35 uh, but otherwise we're just going to leave it alone more importantly because uh, dollar index is mostly euro, um, we're going to be watching this uh, with keen anticipation. Are we going to clip these lows? Probably, right? It's just it's too tempting, right? These lows here. Um, and then are we going to bounce back? This is kind of our scenario, like head fake down below uh, 105.30. 
maybe even down to 104.85, uh, and then a head fake. Two and a half sigma on this today is uh, 104.10. The 200 day is 103.27. Um, don't see any. Tough to see how this could really make a big move today, considering what's on the docket, but you never know, and you just got to be prepared for these things. One of the reasons we think the downside is not going to work is dollar yen. Dollar yen just, number one, we couldn't close above the 200 day. Number two, we're, we're way back below it. Number three, we have the BOJ tonight. If they do anything weirdly hawkish, um, dollar yen is going to be trading 132 uh, going into non farms. So just be aware there's going to be, there could be some massive vol um, in dollar yen, and that vol is not topside, right? Uh, this new guy is not going to be like, I'm Lucy Goosey. Uh, he's not going to be drinking Grey Goose and being Lucy Goose um, and talking about Charlie Brown and Lucy. Um, he's going to be tight. Uh, or his, the risk is that he's going to be tight. Um, so careful on dollar yen. All of cross yen. You see cross yen kind of weirdly also moving left. Uh, look at Swiss yen, which is less interesting, but Euro yen. Uh, these are daily red bars today also. Sterling yen, Aussie yen really is, you know, got kind of hammered. Kiwi yen. This shit all moving left in tandem gives you a feeling that the little... Uh, the little people in the world who know what the fuck uh, this guy's going to say or do are already putting on this position. Uh, so just be very, very careful. One of the reasons we like Euro higher is we do think dollar yen is going to get it, you know, smacked. Um, the proverbial pony is going to get smacked. Uh, and if that does happen, even if Euro yen goes lower, do Euro dollar will have to turn. Perfect doji yesterday in uh, gold. You can see the market's just waiting with bated breath. Very similar to the euro chart. Are we going to trade 1800? Yeah, probably. Um, and is it a fade down there? Maybe. I feel pretty strongly that it might be. We're going to have to make this evidence based. We're not just going to throw wild bids in down there, but. Uh, Definitely does not look like a break trade, that's for sure. Uh, so, watching 1800 in gold. Oh, look, Kiwi, perfect doji. Um, you know, this is a kind of a risk on, risk off proxy, right? So, 61.38 through those highs, you, you kind of gives you a signal to be long, and then 60.84. We're at 21 now, so it's a little bit of peekaboo um, on the 38s. But again, you can't really push the chips in um, today because you have so much risk tomorrow. Canadian um, unemployment as well, for those of you who are fucking around in Dollar Canada today. Um, let's look at Euro Norway just because it's a canker sore. It's like a vaginal canker sore is basically what it is. Um, we snipped these out 22 uh, in the 1122 area, so I guess that was a good cut. But, uh, you don't see us lose a percent on an FX trade too often, um, but we did, and it's hard, you know. Just I don't know whether it's unprofessional. I have to. I'll be looking closely at my journal this weekend and figure out where the fuck I wasn't paying more close attention to what was driving euro norway which is all oil and natural gas but also yields right you know this is also a driver i didn't really think too deeply about um, and that's why i was assaulted uh, by some norwegian bandits anyway um nothing to do here i mean it is getting stretched historically. Yes, that's true. Can this thing go to, say, 1150, 1170? Yes. Can it turn around here also? Yes. 
is it stretched the day at 11.27? Can't be right. Sorry. 11.32. Um, yes. Are we going to be trading it? No. Dollar Max uh, didn't quite get up to that 18.30 area. Back down 95. Max looks strong. Um, great partnership going on between the U.S. and Mexico right now. Seems odd. You know, it's been 10 years of bad news from that country now. They really seem to be get, getting their shit together. Other than the, you know, $60 billion worth of, of cocaine laced with fentanyl that they pour into America. Other than that, everything looks pretty good. Um, dollars are. It's that same it's the same bar, right? It's indecision. Um, this one's going to give you bang for the buck. This would be the last dollar that I would sell. Uh, if we are going to sell today, it's Euro's going to be our horse. Uh, sell dollars today with Euro's going to be our horse. But if stocks go higher um, and we get some sort of magic, little magic fairy dust risk on, this thing back down through 1850, you know, the nice thing about dollar czar is the vol. This thing could easily get back down to, you could drop 50 handles. Um, no problem at all. Uh, so check out dollar czar if you feel like it. Uh, everyone knows we don't short dollar czar. Matic, uh, we're fishing down. Our bids are at 97.50 today. Um, big down day yesterday. All of crypto had a pretty big down day. Seems a little bit um, extended. We had some of the Muppets in the Senate talking about crypto yesterday. I mean, the lack of understanding is is um, it's just stunning. Je suis étonné. Uh, I am fucking stunned um, with the characters that were speaking yesterday. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. DXY, uh, we're watching this super closely. Doji's and everything. Looks like Euro might go left first, but also looks like this might be a fake out. Dollar Yen is leading. Uh, so keep an eye on Dollar Yen for direction to the rest of the gang. We're watching 10 years, as always, and the stock market, which has done absolutely nothing now for 48 hours. But watching that as well. That's all I got, people. Good luck out there. Make some dough. You deserve it.